So last week's garden class was gardening for newcomers. There had to be, it was standing room only, it was like 70 people. It was engaging. People didn't want to leave. They kept, I was there for two hours. Usually it's a one hour class. So thank you all. It made it a, a very interesting, fun, energetic, back and forth kind of class. Every Saturday at 930, we have a class like that. And so this weekend, this is the 15th of July, we've got the doctors in the house. And so this is the bugs, um, disease, leaf spot, what to look for. So so right now, as this, this midsummer, as the rains start to show up, this is when things grow really fast. It's probably the peak of the garden season. And so your plants grow fast. So I'm picking tomatoes and cucumbers and squash. You're all coming off now. Well, also, in addition to that, all the bugs and disease and pestilence and weeds, they're all growing fast too. And so we have a class on just what to look for. We'll have some examples. I've got uh, Kevin Michaels. He's uh, been a farmer. He's farmed all over the Southwest. He's a gardener extraordinaire, great designer, and he's retired. He works for me. Not because he has to, because he wants to. He just likes plants and people and gardeners. And he kind of hangs around and generally shows folks trees and shrubs. But he's also teaching this, this week's class, the doctors in the house. He'll be showing how to kill a grasshopper and blister beetles and how to look for white flies and, and fungus gnats on house plants. And he'll be going over deep. This is pretty technical. But which spray, which organic do you use for tomato worms? Uh, the huge green worm that strips your tomatoes. We've got a solution for that. He's going to explain that one. Next week, I'm teaching uh, privacy screens and barriers. So we're having growth is here. Plants, people are, there. there's buildings going up. And so we'll, which how do you plant a living wall? And how do you get the most growth out of them? How do you put them in the ground so they root out and take off? How do they take the wind to the top of, of, of a hillside? How do you get... We'll go into that. The last one is edible landscape. So the, uh, um, I think inflation, this inflation stuff, the, the price of your grocery store, people have figured out, you know what? I could probably grow my own apples a way cheaper than I can buy them. And you can, it's not that hard, but you got to plan ahead. Peaches, apricots, nectarines, berries. I'm picking off raspberries right now in my own gardens, blackberries. So how do you grow those? We'll be going over the edible landscape. And then how do you put them into the design of your landscape? So we'll go into deep there. So that's that's take a look at all of those classes. They're every Saturday at 9:30. They're in the back greenhouse. We can control the wind, the sun, the rain. We can keep it cool. Uh, just because it's a greenhouse, we got control over that. I would like to take a moment and just do a shout out. And so I'm dancing for the stars this year. So I am I'm going out and I'm working for the boys and girls club. It's almost like a second job. But part of your dance, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing my dance, but then you're also asking friends for donations. Will you support my dance? And I just want to mention a couple of them. And you should know who are the folks that are really supporting this community. It's not just Waters Garden Center, just not me dancing, but your friends are backing you too. So I've got Foothills Bank, uh, Fertilone, uh, out of, they're, they're a supplier of, of, fertilizers and stuff. Lonesome Valley News, that's out the newspaper out there. Yavapai Health and Wellness Magazine, Quad City Business News, Stone Canyon, uh, the Hometown Radio Group, that's uh, the Coens, the owners of KPPV, KQNA, Cattle, Juan, they they personally give a thousand bucks. Prescott Frontier Rotary. And the latest one is Francis Roses. Uh, Taylor Francis, he grows probably 90% of all the roses in the country. He's a friend. He said, eh, I'll support that. He doesn't live here. He just wants to support me and, and the community and the cause. So thank you, Francis and Francis Roses. That's it for this, this uh, show. Throughout the week, Lisa and I camp out here at Waters Garden Center, and we love talking to fans of the show. Mm -hmm.